My name is John Collins. I'm the artistic director of Elevator Repair Service Theater and I'm the director of The Sound and the Fury. Elevator Repair Service is an, is an ensemble theater company. There are a lot of different words people use to describe these kind of theater companies. I like to call us an experimental theater company. We like uh, material that gives us a problem to solve. They're developed over a long period of time with a very consistent group of actors and designers. This particular show was developed the way a lot of our shows were, starting out without any real idea about where we're heading. You know, we just like to have that good problem to solve. We get together as a group and we work out the, we try to work out a solution together. We chose The Sound and the Fury back in, I guess, 2006. We read a lot of different Faulkner. Uh, some out loud, some on our own, um, in trying to choose which one to do. We, we sort of narrowed our choices from Southern literature to Faulkner to The Sound and the Fury to the Benji chapter. It was kind of how those decisions went. I think what inspired us was when we read this chapter out loud, something happened that didn't happen when you, when you read it on the page. The humor and the musicality of it, that all came to life when uh, when we read it aloud and, and more than anything else we were reading at the time this seemed transformed by a live performance. I had always been haunted by this novel and, and by this writing style and there's always been something about southern literature that's intimidated me because it's challenging to take on a subject that you feel very personally about. We we're trying to meet the book on its own terms, with this simple set, this simple setting, and also um, address without smoothing over the, the complexity of the novel. So hopefully, if you don't know the novel, you will get to know it in a way through, through this production, and if you, and if you do, um, uh, you'll see it in a new way.